In this video, you'll see how to create automation runbooks with the AWS Systems Manager Visual Designer. In the Low Code Visual Designer, you can author runbooks using drag and drop actions and APIs, visualize and modify automation workflows, and find errors and security vulnerabilities in your code. AWS Systems Manager Automation Runbooks simplify execution of common maintenance, deployment, and remediation operations. Now there's a low-code way to build custom automation runbooks. To get started, we'll select Create Runbook. This is the visual designer for Systems Manager Automation. Here we can arrange workflow components on the canvas to build and modify runbooks. For the purposes of this video, let's begin with a sample workflow in progress. This is a simple automation workflow that stops an EC2 instance. In the left pane are building blocks we can add to the workflow. We can choose from more than 20 actions, such as loops and if statements. Scripting actions allow us to write custom Python or PowerShell scripts and invoke Lambda functions. We can also incorporate actions to create, delete, or modify resources. We also have building blocks for all publicly available AWS APIs. These are easily searchable. Or we can select a resource in the list and choose from its related APIs. On the Runbooks tab, we have access to our entire library of runbooks. The library includes over 370 out-of-the-box runbooks owned by AWS for common use cases as well as our organization's runbooks. When we bring these runbooks onto the canvas, they become child steps in our custom automation workflow. As we work on the canvas, we can zoom in or out, add and arrange steps, undo and redo changes, and more. When nothing on the canvas is selected, the right pane displays the document attributes. We can provide a description for what this runbook is going to accomplish and add parameters. Let's add a step to this automation workflow that allows us to restart this instance. We'll drag over the block labeled Change Instant State. Notice the red error badge at the top of the canvas. Two errors were found. We need to provide the instance ID and desired state. Let's add an instance ID parameter and configure it as an input. Next, we'll configure the desired state for the instances. The error badge has now gone away. Let's rename the step. The next step in the workflow is an execute script action, which lets us run a custom Python script. Using the integrated Amazon Code Guru feature, we can run a security scan on our code. In the findings, we can learn about any security vulnerabilities and how to fix them. The visual designer also includes a code editor. We can write our runbook in JSON or YAML, and a visualization will generate concurrently. When we click a step in the visualization, the corresponding block of code is highlighted. The code editor includes familiar undo, redo, formatting, and copying options. There are also built-in commands similar to other IDEs. When the workflow is completed, we'll create the runbook. The runbook is now saved to our runbook library and can be executed from this page in AWS Systems Manager. You've just seen how to create automation runbooks with the AWS Systems Manager Visual Designer. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video.
Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.